Hey young guys, it's Luke Mead here and today in this video I'm going to be running you through how to create this Facebook ad that you cannot see but I'll show on the screen. It's a Facebook ad instant experience and what's so powerful about it is that it opens up instantly and we can customize the content in here to suit us almost like we would a website and we can create a more powerful ad. So in this ad here I've got some information about me what my biggest strengths are, some photos, an example shop that you can put products into, and then a button which forwards you onto my website. Let's get straight into this guys. I'm gonna show you how to make this in Facebook Ads Manager. Here we are in Facebook Ads Manager. As you can see, I'm inside a campaign and an ad set. I'm not gonna go over that today in this video. I'm gonna talk about purely the ad. So we wanna hit create an ad and Keep in mind, you can have whatever ad you want going on. We're gonna give this ad a name and call it Instant Experience. Hit continue. And now we're gonna select a Facebook page. In this case, I'm just gonna select my own Facebook page. And then I'm going to select Create an Ad. And down the bottom here, we're gonna click Create and add instant experience. So this means when you're using instant experience that the ad's gonna open up instantly and open up to almost like a HTML version of the ad. So Facebook gives us a few options of templated versions or we can build our own instant experience. In this case, we're gonna build our own instant experience. So we're gonna hit custom because Facebook gives you a heap of controls that we want to really use and I want to show in this video. So let's start off by giving a title. We can call it Facebook Ad Instant Experience. So I'm going to try and make the instant experience I showed you in the beginning, which was me. So we're going to start off by giving a header, which was up at the top of the Facebook ad. So we're going to select Add Component, Header, make sure it's highlighted in blue, and then hit OK. We're then gonna select text and say, meet Luke Mead. Now this head is gonna to stick at the top of the page. Now we can then hit add component and add another component. We might add a text box, hit okay. And now that will get added underneath. And I'm gonna give that the title of meet Luke. I'm gonna make this a bit bigger, this text. Maybe make it size 22. I'm going to make it darker color and I'm going to make it bold. I'm actually going to make it even bigger than 22. So I want it to stand out a bit more than the header does. So I might make it 26. That's better. Now we can see there's a big gap between the header and the title. So to fix that, we're going to select more options, show you advanced options, and then that gives us some options for content padding. So we can see we've got 48 pixels at the top. Let's reduce that down to eight and let's reduce the bottom to eight while we're there as well. Now let's add in another component and let's add in a photo of me. In this case, it's a photo of me drinking champagne in the image. I just use that because I thought it'd be funny and I enjoy it. Didn't want something too serious inside the ad. So I'm going to insert that in there and you can see we even have an option to link to website if we want to and we can adjust the width as we go. So we can have a tap to expand or we can have a linkable full width image. In this case we're going to keep it like this and we're going to add another comp component and I want to add a text box and I want to put in a quote about me and I'm going to say my greatest strength are understanding people. Now, once again, this is probably too small. I'm gonna make it a bit bigger, not bigger than the heading, but make it a size bit bigger. Put it in italics because it's a statement of my own and as we did before, I'm gonna remove, remove some of the padding because there is quite a lot about it. I'm gonna make it 24 on top and bottom. 
Still want a bit of padding in there, but not too much. I'm gonna add another component now, and I'm gonna actually add in a photo carousel, which is a handy little thing to do if you were showing casing your photo skills or you got products to sell. In this case, I'm just gonna put in a photo of New York because that's a bit of a marketing central, and I'll add another photo in of someone using their phone, because that's something that I deal with a lot is marketing to people on phones. Now, as these load in, we'll see that they get put into a slider down the bottom here in our preview. And once again, we can adjust the padding if we want, but in this case, I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna add another component. I'm gonna add another text box quickly and call it a shop example. Now, I don't actually sell t-shirts, but in this case, I've included an example of some t-shirts for sale just to demonstrate the fact that you can put in products into these instant experiences to make them a bit more exciting. So let's take from 14 and make it to about 20. Once again, there's probably too much padding in this, so let's quickly remove some of that padding. I'm not sure why Facebook adds so much padding to these content blocks. Let's make it 12 and 12. Now we're going to add another component and we're going to add a catalog of shop products. And that is in here called product set. Now this pulls in products from your catalog in Facebook. So you need to go in and make sure you've got products actually set up. Here we go. I've just selected my products and you can see you can display as many as you want and you can change the type of content, titles, prices you're putting in here. And last but not least, all we've got to add is a button. Now this button can sit anywhere on the page we want it to. In this case, I'm just going to call it contact Luke. I'm going to give it the destination of my website. And I'm going to adjust the font and the color a little bit of the darkness. And just make it a tad bigger because it's probably a little bit too small right now. There we go. Now we can have the content as an outline or we can fill it. We can do whatever we want. In this case, I'm going to leave it as an outline and I'm going to select the button to be fixed to the bottom of the view. That way, as we scroll through the instant experience, we can constantly see the button. And that is the basics of instant experiences on Facebook, guys. If we want, we can close some of these down, collapse some of these, and we can rearrange these boxes. We're simply dragging them, changing them, and reordering them, which makes it super easy to adjust your instant experience. Now, before you exit out of this, make sure you hit save. It's really important. Facebook doesn't make it very easy. It doesn't automatically save it for you for some reason. So make sure you hit save and actually save it. If you don't, you will lose this. In hindsight, I really should have just saved it everywhere I went, everywhere I went. And then last but not least, you also want to hit finish as well. Now, once you hit finish, you'll be able to access this instant experience inside your ads manager. And we're not quite done yet because we still have to design the front of the Facebook ad, what people see when they're scrolling through Facebook. Now you can see here, that this is currently what the ad looks like. Picture of me. We want to add some primary text and say something like, do you want to meet Luke? Question mark. And then we can give it the headline of meet Luke Mead, digital marketer and educator. And now we can see that ads coming to life. There we go. Now, if we expand this, we can have a look at the ad and see how it works. Now, instant experiences are made for mobile and you can see they're instant because when you click on the ad, the ad opens up instantly. This isn't gonna work because I'm previewing it. The best way to see the ad is to actually click on this share button up here. Go. 
We're gonna go back into the ad, hit edit on it. We're gonna go to share, we're gonna share a link. We're then gonna copy this link. Copy it. We're gonna open it up inside of a web browser. Here we go. So I'm gonna click show ad and I'll start to see this ad in my newsfeed now. I might quickly get up my phone and show you what it looks like on my phone. And here's the ad that's been shared with me. And when I click here to open it up, you can see it opens up instantly and the photos for pull through. And we can play with this content and use this content as we see fit. You guys learned something from this video. If you did, like and subscribe, it means a lot to me. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. I'll speak to you all next time. Ciao, ciao.